We went to the home of LCC professor Tom Hunter. Hunter is a world-renowned photographer, famous for his gritty depictions of real life. I took on a part-time photography A-level and I started getting photographs together. And my tutor said, why don't I apply for a degree course? I was, well, I'm not sure about this. But I applied anyway and got accepted on my portfolio as a mature student. I got completely engrossed in it. I actually read a reading list. I know that's unheard of for students now, but I read all the books. I went to all the lectures. I did all the essays. I got obsessed by everything about it. One of the first projects I commenced was um, when I was, had a stall on Brick Lane Market. Um, I was, was taking 35 mil black and white pictures of the people coming to my stall on Brick Lane. So then it's black and white photography, not staged, photo journalism, photo documentary, um, me snapping in front of people's faces. I don't believe in jetting off around the world to take pictures of wars in Afghanistan because there's wars in Hackney. The, street, the kids are fighting in gangs, they're killing each other. We've got wars going on here. Um, I don't see the point in trying to speak about other people's lives in different communities when I don't understand their communities. I decided to represent my neighbourhood, my neighbours, through the eyes of Vermeer. So I looked at Vermeer's paintings and recreated those using photography. So I was trying to invoke the dignity and beauty that Vermeer used with his subjects and try to imbue them onto my subjects, lifting their status, trying to show my neighbours, my community in a dignified, beautiful manner. At the end of every project, you put your head in your hands and you start crying um, and then it feels like you're never going to start again and you never know what you're going to do. And it's, it's in some ways a panic time. So I'm in that panic time. Um, I've got this blank sheet of paper in front of me. That's what I was saying if I was a writer. Or I've got this blank roll of film and I've got to start again. So I've just come to a lot of finishing my book. Is you know, it's an end of chapter in a way. I've put it all together and said, this is it, this is what I've done. So that's very scary, putting that up on a bookshelf and people are just gonna walk past not taking notice of 25 years work. And now, in some ways, I've got to reinvent myself and come up with new ideas. But obviously, you can't let go of the past, so I've got to keep this part of me as well. So it's, it's a very hard time in a way. It felt like maybe I should just pack it all in. I've done my book. I've shown everyone what I've done. Let's go be a sheep farmer in the Outer Hebrides. Mm -hmm.